To other news now, and it's a plant that looks harmless, but it could be putting teens at risk. Young people are not breaking any laws getting high off the herb, but it can have devastating health effects. Here's Global's Christina Stevens now. I can honestly say that it's gotten me more screwed up than any, legal, than any illegal drug that I've ever done. That is one teenager's take on Salvia Divinorum. <laughs> and this is what it's like to be oh, high on the hallucinogenic. The I don't know, it almost feels like there's fingers going up your body and touching you, and like, you're, it feels like there's balls in your veins. Yet Salvia, an herb in the mint family, is totally legal in Canada and available at corner stores. The packaging is innocuous and the price cheap, between 2 and $10, depending on the strength. So the big concern is that young students may go and buy it. This psychiatric pharmacologist says although it is a hallucinogen like crystal meth or LSD, it works on a different part of the brain. So it's not addictive, but can trigger underlying problems like schizophrenia or manic episodes. I would worry with a high dose if someone would have too intense of an experience and could have a panic attack and, and end up in emergency room or end up doing something, walking out into traffic, that type of thing. Anything that requires that you know what's going on around you, you should not be doing this. The manager of an exotic seed store says he won't sell salvia to anyone under 19 or anyone who doesn't know what they're doing and is just well, looking for a cheap, flashy thrill. I, I'm really not comfortable with anything other than sort of a spiritual or vision quest approach to it. And just because it's natural doesn't mean it's safe. It's a product that's not currently regulated and I would be very wary and apprehensive about uh, taking something that's not regulated. And the trip is so extreme, even those who've tried it are not sure it should be so readily available. Maybe for kids over 19, but not for everyone else. The high is typically under five minutes, somewhat mitigating the chances of a person getting into serious trouble. Toronto police say the herb is simply not on their radar. Health Canada says it's monitoring it, but otherwise taking no action. In contrast, it's now illegal in Delaware. That's since a teenager committed suicide shortly after trying it. It's amazing you can buy it at a corner store. I know. But what are the concerns here in terms of uh, you know popularity? Could it become a party drug, as they call it? Oh, believe it or not, that's highly unlikely, and that's because it's so intense the person would be overstimulated, the loud noises, the light, a lot of movement. That would be irritating, if not painful, to the user. Also, it's it, again, it's so extreme that some of the people we talked to said even you know I've done it once. There's no way I'm doing it again. I'll take that experience. I'm finished. Thanks, though. A lot of parents at home. I know the conversation they're going to have with their kids after that. Oh, definitely. Thanks, Christina. Thanks.